News with Bill Woods and Natasha Bing. Good evening and welcome to 10 News. First tonight, it sounds too good to be true. A brand new motorway linking the city, the airport and Parramatta. It's the headline act of a new 20-year infrastructure plan for the state, but there is a hitch. It's going to cost at least $15 billion and Sydney motorists will have to empty their already threadbare pockets to pay for it. State political reporter Josh Murphy joins us now. Josh, this means basically more tolls. Well, Bill, that is the hard truth. This is a road that will cost up to $15 billion and drivers are being told there will be no free rides. Tolls will be a major factor in the cost recovery for this major new highway. It is a road, ultimately, though, that will transform here where I am on Parramatta Road and ultimately Sydney itself. But the trade-off will be that other roads, which are currently free, will eventually attract a distance paced per kilometre charge. Sick and tired of the peak hour car park on the M4 and M5? Well, after 18 months in office, the Premier has signed off on a potential solution. It's called West Connects. A new 33-kilometre Sydney orbital linking Parramatta to the city, the airport and beyond to the western suburbs. We're today giving West Connects the green light. We're putting $1.8 billion on the table. The M4 at Parramatta will be widened, making way for a cutting to be dug into Parramatta Road, connecting to the city Westlink. A five-kilometre tunnel will be built through the inner west with CBD exits, eventually snaking its way to the airport and a duplicated M5 tunnel. The price tag for the traffic fix up to $15 billion and drivers will pay for three quarters of it in tolls. And we'll do everything we can to minimise those Tolls. What we try to do is to cap it at $7, much like happens out on the M7. We don't know if motorists are going to be forced to pay tolls on roads that they've already paid for. But the state's infrastructure bosses who developed the proposal have recommended drivers pay for untold motorways if they're improved. So prepare to pay on currently free roads such as the M5 West, M5 East and M4 West. I mean, no one thinks that having to pay for something is better than not paying for it. That's the general philosophy of the building priority list unveiled today. The report suggests the cost of train fares change between the peak and off-peak, a higher premium to travel during the crush. More express trains are also recommended between Sydney to Parramatta, Newcastle and Wollongong. And removing the controversial station access fee on the airport line stations, which makes taking the train there much more expensive. All suggestions at the moment. The only thing that counts actually is what really happens. The rest of what happens is now in the hands of the Premier. Now, the first step Barry O'Farrell has taken is probably the biggest one with the unveiling of this major new motorway, which he did promise before the election. But the details are at the moment slim. There's still planning and environmental work to be done and private investors need to be found. Expect more details on that in the next six months. Josh, thank you.